independent woman. I have two master's degree and working on my PhD. Black women have more degrees than black men, which is why they won that round. But at what cost? At what cost? So at the top there, it says black men versus black women. Bachelor's degrees are higher. You guys can go on my page. You can see all the videos. I have all the links in the descriptions so you guys can get any information that you need from this live stream. So if you're asking, where are the, the references? Go to my videos and you will find them. So this is uh, the education argument. So as you guys can see there on the, on the far right, you see that green? That indicates who's leading, who won this particular round. So percentage with bachelor's degrees. Black women, 29.3%, as I mentioned earlier. Black men, 22%. That's a 7.3% difference in favor of black women. And then total population, black women uh, degree holders, 3.5 uh, million. Black men, 2.2 million. That's a 1.2 million difference in favor of black women. If there are any arguments about degrees, Black women have more degrees than black men, which is why they won that round, okay? And I'm saying one because it's for some odd reason seems like it's a competition in the black community. So I'm giving you guys credit, both ends, black men and black women. So y'all can shut up about the conversation. Black men versus black women, STEM degrees. And this is from 2012 to 2022, of course. Total STEM degrees, uh, slash certificates, black men, 326,000. Black women, 199,000. That is 126,000 difference in favor of black men. Percentage of total STEM degrees, 7.5% uh, black men across all years. And then 4.5% for black women across those years. That is a 3% difference uh, for black men, which means that black men win that round. So in STEM degrees, if you guys have a conversation on anybody's platform, Black men hold more STEM degrees than black women. Black women versus black men break down for student loan debt, both in total amount and average loan size. Okay, so at the uh, top there, the category is average undergrad debt. Black women hold 41,000 uh, undergrad debt on the average. Black men, 35,000 undergrad debt. That's a $5,801 difference. Black women have more debt. Average graduate uh, degree debt. Black women, $75,000. Black men, $61,000. That is $13,000 more than black men. Black women own more debt in the graduate degree department. Then percentage of black bar borrowers who are women, 66% are black women. Black men, 34%. Women are, are two thirds of black borrowers. Two thirds. So black women borrow more money than black men for college. Cumulative debt total, 929 billion, that's 66%. Remainder, 34% of 1.6 trillion, women hold the majority of the debt, okay? Black women, more debt. So if women own more college debt, black women own more college debt in total as well. So in that particular category, black men lead. You see the red, that would be considered a negative. Black men versus black women, student parents in college, which is very important. Percentage of college students who are parents. Black women, 40%. Black men, 21%. That is a 19% different. Black women lead in that particular category. There are more black women who are parents in college than black men. Single parents in college, 62% of black mothers are single when they are in college. Only 39% of black men are, are single fathers in college. Mothers are 1.6 times more likely. Black women, that is a negative. Married parents in college, 38% of black mothers are married as opposed to 61% of black fathers are married in college. That's important and like I said, man, you see how these numbers shake out when you break them down? Because people like, and I hate that the black community does this, black women got more college degrees than black men. But did y'all actually have, you know, ever sit down and look at all of this information that goes along with this? This is crazy, right? I know this is some new information for a lot of people. That would be considered a positive 
if the majority of the black fathers are married, that's a positive. So black men win in that. And then total student parents, of course, 2.7 million mothers for black women, 1.1 million fathers. Mothers equal 70% of the total. There are more black women who are parents in college. So black men win that group as well. Bachelor's degrees, who leads? Black women, why it matters. Education often correlates with stability and social compatibility. So black women, remember that. You having more degrees than black men, that's why it matters. Make sense, guys? STEM degrees, black men, higher earning, high demand career fields, which is absolutely a positive. Less student loan debt, who leads, uh, who has less student loan debt, black men. Financial burden and long-term planning, okay? So that's why it is a negative, okay? Fewer student parents. Black men have fewer student parents. More flexibility, fewer obligations. That's why if you have no children on the dating market, that puts you at the top of the list based off other things as well. But first thing that people look at is do you have buckaroos, okay?